the Freeport International Tournament. These are the 1-0 games in the double elimination tournament. The winners go to the semifinals. The losers tomorrow will fight for the right to go to the semifinals. Cincinnati at Philadelphia. So welcome everybody, Cincinnati Reds at Philadelphia. They played once before, Cincinnati won the game. But that one was at Riverfront Stadium. This one is in Philadelphia. Philadelphia 8-1 on the year. And Cincinnati 7-2 in the preliminary uh, round of the tournament. Very interestingly, everything is now into the playoffs. Uh, the stats, they updated this game. So now you get to see the playoff stats, and not just the regular season stats. So as you can see, Jack Quinn has nothing on him. But what we do know about Jack Quinn is this. Jack Quinn is tired. He's 46 years old. And I would be surprised if he lasted um, uh, more than an inning. Very curious choice for this. Maybe they're saying we're going to play at home tomorrow and rest people. I don't know. But Jack Quinn will start off. Cincinnati... And Philadelphia, the winner of this game goes to the semifinals. They're the two best teams in the tournament. The loser of this game will have to play either the Mets or the New York Yankees of 1927. One of those two to try and get to the semifinals. And it's the best of three. So here we go for the Cincinnati Reds. It's Griffey, Cesar Geronimo, and George Foster. Right, center, and left. And then Morgan, Prez, and Rose. Bench, Dreesen, and Concepcion. For Philadelphia, well, they got three players who still haven't had a hit, but that's because they've only played one game. Miller, Cochran, Fox, Simmons, Poss, and Dykes. Bishop, Bully, and Hale. So now Jack Quinn will start. He pitches a ball here. And here's Ken Griffey, who was 0 for 5 so far. Away from home, only hitting 220s. A beautiful sunset. Look at this. And it's going to be a ball ball, too. So we're underway here in Philadelphia. These are the 1 0 games, which means if you win, you're in the semifinals. And that's going to be 3 0. So three straight to Ken Griffey. Kind of the question is how long is he going to go? And that's going to be ball four. Four pitches to begin the game to Ken Griffey, and he's on first. Here's Cesar Geronimo's four for five. He was big in the last game they played, and that's going to be safe there. So top of the first inning, we're just underway here. Wouldn't be this tournament unless you had a lot of people on base. That's the first strike of the game to anybody. If you didn't have a long first inning, wouldn't be part of this tournament. The 0-1. Swing and a miss there, it'll be 0-2. They use that screwball, something that modern hitters don't really see. In the 70s, they were in that era between the old and the new pitches, and it's going to be high ball one. So Geronimo hitting 800, though it's one game, 4-5. He had three RBIs. It's going to be inside 2-2. Two and two. Jack Quinn gets his start, 48 years old. 46 years old, and he strikes him out. One out, one on. Philadelphia and Cincinnati. Here comes George Foster. Cincinnati won their game eight to two. Well, Philadelphia held on for a victory against the 92 Pirates, who then lost to the 27 Yankees. He'll go to second, the throw to second, he's going to be safe. So that's going to be Ken Griffey Sr., his first stolen base of the playoffs, first for the Reds. He's on second with one out, the 2-0. A swing and a miss here, it'll be 2-1. Foster, Morgan, then Perez. So Quinn's 13th pitch. That's going to be to left field, and this one will hook. 
And look at this thing. It looks way foul. So it'll be two and two. Foster without a base hit yet. And it's going to be low three and two. Without a base hit here, Griffey on second. Quinn to Foster, the full count. It's going to be a shot to third. He'll pick it up, throw it to first, and get the out one out. That's big that they check the runner. So they don't get a sacrifice position there. And here comes Joe Morgan. He's on fire, even though he's one for three. He had a great regular season. That's going to be a ball inside. Well, when we go into the spring and there's going to be 100 teams, that's going to be very interesting. What do you do when there's 100 teams? Two leagues of 50. It's going to be the last World Series winners and losers, the National and American League champions. And that's going to be a strike, so a lot of Braves teams in there. So the 2-1 with two outs. It's going to be outside. It's going to be actually up, ball three. Cincinnati nothing, Philadelphia nothing. Top of the first inning. So a bunch of one game series. That's ball four. And another runner gets the first. So some Cincinnati fans here in Shy Park. And here's Tony Perez. So masterfully working through this lineup. As Quinn has walked two in the first inning. And Perez, it's going to be low 1-0. Jack Quinn, 21 pitches. It's going to be fouled off one and one. Trying to get out of this first inning. You don't want to go 25 pitches every inning. It's going to be inside two and one. Cincinnati and Philadelphia. Cincinnati has two on. They have not one base hit all day. That's going to be a shot to third. Picked up to throw to first, and they get him, and that's the end of the inning. Well. It wouldn't be a first inning without a little bit of uh, base running and a jam, especially not in this tournament. We go to the bottom of the first to score. Cincinnati nothing, Philadelphia nothing. So Pat Zachary is in against Bing Miller. This will be the first playoff appearance for Pat Zachary. And for Miller, that's going to be a shot, Concepcion. The Perez one out, one pitch, one out. Philadelphia a little bit different here. Miller, Cochran, Fox, Simmons, Haas, Dykes, Bishop, Bully, and Hale. So Mickey Cochran was 0 for 2 in the last game, and that's going to be a ball down low. So he got up five times, walked three in his last game, and every time he swung the bat, he was out. So it's going to be low 2 and 0. He has a good eye. He walked three times in the last game. And it's gonna be a strike there, two and one. So Zachary to Mickey Cochran, the catcher. Usually it's offensive numbers and it'll be three and one. Looks like we're gonna have a lot of pitches today. Cochran and that's gonna be to center field and the first base hit of the day. That's going to be a base hit. He's thinking about maybe giving an automatic bid to teams here that did well into the Champions League. Bottom of the first with one out. Here's Jimmy Fox. And that's going to be a strike. Thinking about possibly making this a qualifying tournament for the Champions League. That's going to be a strike again. But we would have 52 teams in each league, which would mean 102 games. That's going to be a strike out there. Zachary gets him with a sinker, and it's going to be two outs. It's 102 broadcast days, and then We'd have the summer vacation, and then we, you would have the playoffs in on that. So bottom of the first inning, two outs. Cochran is on first. And it's going to be inside. He's going to go to second. They throw to second. They'll easily get him. And that's going to end the inning.
So Philadelphia with the only hit. But we go to the top of the seventh inning. It's Philadelphia nothing, Cincinnati nothing. Now here's Pete Rhodes. Jack Quinn is pitching. Against Pete Rhodes, it's going to be inside for a ball. So nothing, nothing here, top of the second inning. Win against Rose, and it's going to be a strike one and one. We're thinking about great teams in the past and putting them in this tournament that didn't win the World Series and then having this be a qualifier or didn't get to the World Series. So it'll be two and one, like the 84 Padres will be in the 100 team champion league because they lost to the Tigers. That's going to be base hit for Rose, and he's going to get to first base. And there they go, they go to second, and the throw to second base is gonna be saved. We're also gonna have a mix of old and new teams. So we wanna make sure the old teams can hang with the new in a tournament. So Rose is on second, and here's Johnny Bench. And the organ is playing over itself. And that'll be a strike. So no outs, and Rose is on second. Another base runners for Cincinnati this time. It's to a hit and not a walk, and it's gonna be strike two. So Cincinnati nothing, Philadelphia nothing. Top of the second inning. The pitch, it's gonna be outside one and two. So Quinn to bench. Strike him out, and Johnny Bench sits down. we would do is pretty much NLCS and ALCS teams that didn't make it. And then old teams like the 29 A's, the 27 Yankees. And then what we would do is we would divide them up and the people that play in the championship game get the automatic bids. That's gonna be a strike. So oh, and one with one out. They're in the top of the second inning, it's nothing, nothing. And it's going to be outside one and one. So Quinn to Dreesen. The pitch, it's going to be low two and one. Cincinnati nothing, Philadelphia nothing. Here in the top of the second with one out, Rose on second. He's going to go to third. The throw to third base and Rose. Did he get him? Yes, they did. They got Pete Rose. Rose trying to steal into sacrifice position. He couldn't do it. And now Philadelphia's one strike away. Win to Dreesen. Struck him out, and that's the end of the inning. So the Philadelphia A's have packed Shive Park. We go to the bottom of the second inning. The score, Cincinnati nothing, Philadelphia nothing. So Zachary against Simmons. Here's Al Simmons, the left fielder, two of five. You see the beautiful night skyline here. And that's gonna be a pop fly to center field. Should be an easy catch, and it is. And that's Cesar Geronimo making it one out. So Zachary only had 10 pitches in that first inning. And for the second straight inning, he has a one pitch out. Here comes Haas, who hit two for three the last time they played Zachary. And that's going to be fouled off 0 and 1. So Cincinnati and Philadelphia, bottom of the second inning. It's going to be low 1 and 1. That's going to be a shot to right field and a base hit. It gets by Perez. And also get to first, and that'll, that'll stay there. Haas will get to first base in the bottom of the second. With one out. Here's uh, Jimmy Dykes. Oh, look at that stare. Oh, I think they just dug him up from this game. Three for four. Oh, and they hit him, and who wouldn't hit him with a face like that? Man, he was staring down the pitcher. And you can see, it looked, it looked like he was evilly staring him down, and he got hit. And now Philadelphia is going to be putting pressure on Cincinnati with one out. 
Max Bishop. Was one for two in his last game. He had an RBI. Three for four total getting on base, but one for two in at bats. And inside for a ball. Philadelphia threatening to score early here. Zachary against Bishop. And it's going to be a strike. So, Zachary to Bishop. That's going to be low ball two. So, two and one. Haas is on second, Dykes is on first. The pitch it, it's going to be away. It'll be three and one. Three and one. I would guess that for the Champions League, we would have a promotion and relegation. If you're the last team in each division, you go down and you get back into this tournament. You'll stay in this tournament if you're a champion. That's the one thing. And that's going to be a full count. So we can have both of these go together. It should be interesting the next 10 years doing this. The pitch. And it's going to be fouled away. Three and two with an out. Bottom of the second inning. Three, two. And again, fouled it back. Bottom of the second. It's nothing, nothing, two on. With one out. Bishop, and it's going to be a little blooper. And he'll pick it up, not even throw it. So the bases are going to be loaded for Philadelphia in the bottom of the second. And this is big as Pat Zachary, who had such a great Champions League outing. We'll have Joe Bowley, and the bases are loaded. The bases are loaded for Bowley. And it's going to be low ball one. Bottom of the second inning, nothing, nothing. Zachary to Bowley again, the 1 0. It'll be away 2 0. They could walk in, they could walk in a run. It'll be big, bottom of the second inning, the 2 0. And they throw it, it's going to be a strike. It's right down the middle there, 2 and 1. You knew that was coming. The 2 0 fastball take. Same place, and it's a strike, 2 and 2. Nearly the same place. So the base is loaded. Haas is in sacrifice position in the bottom of the second. And he fouls this one off. A lot of base runners here. No runs though. But a ton of base runners. So Zachary's 29. That's going to be ball three. I thought it was four. And the base, the count will be full with the bases loaded and one out. Bottom of the second inning. The pitch. That's going to be a pop fly. This one should be at least a sacrifice. Geronimo goes all the way, way back to the wall at 400 feet. They're going to throw home. It's going to be close. And it'll be one to nothing A's. So Haas, Haas scores. And the A's have scored the first run in this game. So it'll be first and third for Sammy Hale. And Zachary giving it up. And that's going to be a ball down low. Zachary to Hale. Rez on first. No, Bishop on uh, first. And Dykes on third. Dykes looking to try 90 feet away from a little insurance. And it's going to be a strike. Bottom of the second inning here. It's one to nothing. A lot of walks today. It'll be two and one. A lot of pitches and a lot of walks. Even though there have been no walks this inning. A swing and a miss there. It'll be two and two. A lot of full counts. I will say that much. I said a lot of walks. I was wrong. It feels like there's a lot of walks. That's going to be a shot and a base hit. So coming in to score, it's going to be two to nothing. They get a little bit of insurance here, even though we're only in the second inning. Sammy Hale gets an RBI. It's two to nothing A's. They're a tough team. Now everybody looks at the 27 Yankees. The 27 Yankees are having trouble. He's 29 A's. There's no problem. It's going to be a strike. Zachary to Miller. 
and it's going to be inside one and one. One and one with two outs. Two to nothing, Ace lead Cincinnati. That's going to be a shot, and past him a base hit. And past Concepcion, this could be three to nothing. They're going to throw home, and this one is safe. So Bing Miller makes it three to nothing, Philadelphia, and Zachary's in trouble. And here's Mickey Cochran. There is no pitcher hitting slot to get yourself out of this jam. Cochran is one for one today, and that's going to be a high ball one. Hale on second, Miller on first. That's a high fly ball to left field. It'll curve foul, and it'll go foul. Be one and one here. Bottom of the second. Cincinnati in trouble. They're down three to nothing. That's going to be fouled off. They're a strike away from getting out of this inning. But the Athletics want to keep this going. You got to go strike with the iron's hot. It's going to be inside two and two. Philadelphia leading three to nothing. The winner to the semifinals. The loser. Plays an all or nothing game against one of the two remaining teams. The Mets or the Yankees. And that's gonna be a little pop up. The third baseman will go over Pete Rose and he should make the catch and he does. So they score three in the bottom of the second. We go to the third to score. Philadelphia three, Cincinnati nothing. Detroit has one run on one hit in the top of the fourth inning. They're leading the Pirates at Three Rivers Stadium one to nothing. We'll definitely get you to the ninth inning of that game. It's three to nothing here, top of the third. Quinn to Concepcion now. A swing and a miss there. It'll be Concepcion, Griffey, and Geronimo. It's gonna be quickly 0-2. So Jack Quinn is looking good here early. He's in a groove, and that's gonna be fouled off. He had 37 pitches in the first two innings. He wants to keep that total down. He's going aggressively right now to Concepcion, but a few foul balls off. So Quinn again. That's gonna be a pop fly to left field. And underneath it, and making the catch is actually the shortstop bowling. One out here, and here's Griffey. They got a great lineup, the Reds do. The Reds are still reeling after their loss to the Kansas City Royals. The 2015 Kansas City Royals, a 28th seed in a round of 16. They came out of the group stage, they finished second. The Royals did, but they really were first, but they played all their subs the last three games. So Quinn to Griffey. But they came in and they got blown out in game one. That's Griffey to left field. If it stays fair, it could be trouble. But underneath, it's near the wall and he gets it. The left fielder Simmons, he just goes and gets it. A deep left field, a deep baseball field here and it's gonna be two out. Three to nothing, top of the third inning. That's going to be a strike 0 and 1. So 0 and 1 with two outs. They're still reeling from that. They wanted to come into this tournament. We just wanted to fit teams into this tournament. We didn't make the decision yet. It was going to be a qualification for the Champions League. And it's going to be a ball there 2 and 1. So they just got the best teams they could think of in this tournament. Some unique teams, some teams just because of their mistake. And that's going to be a base hit. So getting on first base at least. Next summer it's gonna be unique because we're gonna go probably halfway through the, um, halfway through, it'll probably be about 70 games. And when I get back, it'll be the last, oh, probably, It'll be the last 30 or so games in a regular season. Then you're gonna have this tournament 
And you're gonna know who's replacing the teams that finished last. So Quinn against Foster. If there's a tie for last, they're just gonna go into the tie-breaking games. That's gonna be a high pop fly left field. And again, Simmons will be underneath. With two outs, this should do it, and he does. The end of the top of the third, it's still 3-0 Philadelphia. Fox Simmons and Haas will come up. Zachary has not had a great day. He has had 44 pitches in two innings. He worked quickly in the first and had a 30-some pitch inning in the second when he gave up three. Two swings and misses there by Jimmy Fox. Well, when you take a look at this league, and the pitch is gonna be down low, one and two. Getting back to what we said before, we don't want, we want the most competitive league we can, but you gotta be fair about who gets in. So the 87 Minnesota Twins, if they finish last place, they were dismal this last year. But if they finish last place, then um, they will be in this tournament at least forever until they can win their way back in. So Zachary to Fox again. And that's going to be a deep fly ball to left field. This might make it four to nothing. Let's see. It's going to be nearing the wall, and it'll be caught. And that's George Foster. It'll be one out. So as we think out loud and we tell you the qualification tournament in the summer will be good, it's only going to be ten games. We can do that when I'm home in the morning. Very easy. And here's Zachary to Simmons. But yeah, if they, I mean, there are gonna be rules that are gonna help Minnesota next year. There will be suspensions, there will be everything, but they're gonna turn the injuries off. Because we can't have people going through the league with only a 25-man roster, and then all of a sudden, five of their pitchers get hurt, and you got 70 games to throw. And it's gonna be a strike. Plus, you put on the DH, so you can have your starter go a lot longer, even if they're losing. You don't have to pull them and use up bullpen people. There's a pitch and it's gonna be fouled off. So that's gonna put a little bit of, uh, that's gonna put a little bit of uh, help to Minnesota. And hey, he could go to first on this and he will a base hit. So looking ahead to next year, it looks like Minnesota, a little bit of a, a little bit of chance there to get out of the basement. Of course being all-time teams, you're never going to get all-time teams. Plus, they're going to be playing in the Astrodome. They're not the Astrodome, the Metrodome next year. So bottom of the third, they throw to first. And it's going to be safe. So bottom of the third inning. And it's going to be ball one to Mule. Mule Haas, the center fielder. One for five in the playoffs. He got his only base hit today. It's going to be a strike one and one. Bottom of the third inning. Philadelphia three, Cincinnati nothing. That's going to be a shot to left center. And it's way back. And Haas, and what a catch. What a big catch by George Foster. And there'll be two outs. Well, that was very big there. And now two outs. And Zachary goes to Dykes. And it's gonna be a wild pitch and going to second base is Simmons. So Simmons will go to second. So bottom of the third, Simmons at second. Zachary against Dykes. And a swing and a miss here, it'll be strike one. So one and one, and here he goes. There's Jimmy Dykes, he walked, he got hit his last time. He's staring down the pitcher. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be a pop fly to center field. This could end the inning. And underneath the Cesar Geronimo and he makes a catch. That ends three innings. The score Philadelphia three, Cincinnati nothing. All the way in the fifth inning in Pittsburgh, Detroit has a one to nothing lead. 
We're going to take a look at that game. Kirk Gibson doubled, doubled, and Alan Trammell scored. That's how they got their run, and that was in the top of the first inning, and it's held up ever since. The Pirates only with one run. So here comes Morgan. See, the 72 Pirates are a team that would make it in under the... They would make it in. They're easily, if they don't win it this year, they're going to make it in to the um, to the tournament next year. 72 Pirates, the best team in the 1980s, really. The best team in the 1970s for the Pirates. The 72 Pirates, they had the best record, and they just played the Cincinnati Reds. They led them in the deciding game five to going to the World Series. And Bob Moose through the first of all, they gave up a home run to Johnny Bench to tie it, then a wild pitch. So it's gonna be a high pop fly, center field, and it'll jump for a base hit. So Joe Morgan gets on first. Other teams in the tournament will be like the 1980 Houston Astros, who would really be a solid team like the 88 Mets would be a great team. There'd be a lot of teams. And the rule is here, if any team not already a champion goes in, like the Philadelphia, if they make the finals, they qualify if they're not already going to be in. So we could have a 100-team league or 102. So Perez, and they throw back to first. He's going to be safe. So they throw back again to first. He's going to be safe. Win to Perez. Pitch, it's going to be outside, ball, ball one. Three to nothing, Philadelphia leads Cincinnati. The top of the fourth inning. That's going to be a shot to third, and he boots it up. He boots it, and it's going to be an error, so not a great error. It could have been an around the horn double play, but that's going to be a big error, and right now, Hale is not feeling great about himself, and Quinn is in a little bit of a jam here. You got P. Rose coming up. Three for five in the playoffs, one for one today. Cincinnati is starting to put pressure on Philadelphia. They throw to second, he's gonna be safe. So Quinn to Cochran, Cochran the catcher. And it's gonna be a strike, P. Rose. At this time, he wasn't the all-time leader in hits. But he's a heck of a hitter. Yo one, it's gonna be low one and one. So Jack Quinn. Three innings pitched, he gave up two base. That's gonna be a base hit for P. Rose. Are they gonna have a run score on this? And no, the bases are gonna be loaded. Maybe a little bit more intimidating. And Johnny Bench comes up. Oh, he's Mr. Clutch and you know it. In Champions League, he was Mr. Clutch. You'll never have to worry about the 76 Reds when it comes to relegation. Not over 100 or 102 game season, or 98. And it's gonna be a strike. So Quinn the bench. The pitch. And it's gonna be 0 and 2. 0 and 2. And it's gonna be fouled off. The reason why you have the qualification tournament in the middle of the season is because the relegated teams, you want them down for a full season. You don't want to end the thing and then have the qualification, they just win their way back in. Now you want them down for a full year. The pitch, and it's gonna be low ball one. One and two, nobody out, base is loaded. Johnny Bench, this is big for Cincinnati. Won a few runs to get back in the game, or maybe even the lead. And it's going to be low two and two. Quinn has thrown 66 pitches. He's only walked two. It's going to be inside. This could be big. They throw to second. They get one. They throw to first. They get a second. But Cincinnati gets a run, and it's three to one. Oh no! The biggest nemesis for the Philadelphia A's are the Cincinnati. Reds, and if they can do their part to knock them off today, that would be big. So Johnny Bench hits into a double play. 
But a run comes in, he does not get an RBI, and Quinn to Dreesen now. Dreesen to right field. Let's see how far this one goes, but shouldn't be far enough. And making the catch easily is the right fielder Miller, and that'll end the inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Cincinnati gets a run. They chip away, it's three to one. So we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Here's Bishop against Pat Zachary. So that's gonna be a foul back, 0 and 1. So Philadelphia three, Cincinnati one. Zachary pitching to Bishop. That's gonna be a pop fly to left center field. It should drop and it will for a base hit. So getting on first base, that's pretty big for Bishop and here's Bowley. Joe Bully, the shortstop. And that's gonna be a strike. 0-1, oh and, and Bully, they wanna try and equal what Cincinnati did. And it's gonna be low and inside of ball one and one. So Zachary will be pitching to Bully here in the bottom of the fourth. And that's gonna be the right field. And it'll curve foul and it will be foul. It's going to be one and two. Bottom of the fourth inning. Philadelphia three, Cincinnati one. The one, two. And foul back again. Bully trying to stay alive. I'm already excited about next March. And the timetable is we're going to take about 15 days to mod everything, get everything downloaded so we can start it off running and not have to fit in everything team by team. It's gonna take that long to take a little bit every night to mod all the teams, to get all the names in of all the managers and all that stuff. And then once it starts going, it'll roll by itself. And that's gonna be two and two. Bottom of the fourth inning, Philadelphia three, Cincinnati one. 2-2 two -two to Bowley. And foul back again, so he's staying alive. This will be the eighth pitch to Bowley, the 70th pitch from Zachary. Foul back again, he is staying alive, but nobody out. This is gonna determine the direction of the inning. If he can get on, Zachary's gonna be in a bind. It'll be three and two, it's now full. The Freeport International Tournament, the unlicensed one. That's gonna be fouled back. It'll probably be known as a qualification tournament next year. Bottom of the fourth inning, three to one, the pitch. It's gonna be ball four and they're gonna be two on. Two on for Philadelphia. You're in the bottom of the fourth inning. And it's gonna be Hale. Sammy Hale, one for one. And inside it's gonna be a ball. They're trying to add to this lead. If Bishop gets in, they will have negated Cincinnati's run. It'll be one and one. Bottom of the fourth, it's three to one. The pitch, it's gonna be high, two and one. Also gets them a little buffer in case Cincinnati Decides to load the bases up, but nobody out. That's gonna be the right field. And let's see, and it's gonna be a catch. And maybe moving to third, let's see. He will move to third. And Bishop will go to third as a diving catch by Griffey in the outfield. So it'll be one out. And Bishop is in sacrifice position. Here's Miller. Three for seven, one for two today. Swing and a miss here, a strike. So if Zachary wants either a ground ball double play or a strike out here, he doesn't want a fly ball. And it's gonna be outside. They don't want a wild pitch either. They throw home and it's gonna be safe. It's four to one and Cincinnati has blown it. Philadelphia goes ahead. Now they're looking like heavy favorites here. In the bottom of the fourth inning with one out and they go to Miller. 
Swing and a miss here. It'll be one and two. So one and two here with one out. Bottom of the fourth inning. It's going to be low ball two. So a lot of base runners. That's the way it is today. Zachary, who won rookie of the year as a pitcher. This will be to center field. And going back in, what a catch by Geronimo. So Griffey and Geronimo both with great catches in this fourth inning. They're beating this ball hard. And a new pitcher's gonna come in, you know that. So not the greatest outing in the world. Here's McEnany, and McEnany has not pitched at all in the playoffs. So he'll come in against Cochran. Remember him from the first round against the Royals. That's gonna be a hard shot to second. Morgan to Perez, and that'll end the inning. So at the end of four innings of play, Philadelphia four, Cincinnati one. The Pirates have taken the lead in the bottom of the sixth inning. It's at the bottom of the fifth alley. Actually, Gene Alley doubled, and Clemente and Oliver scored. It's two to one there. We're going to keep an eye on that game and probably go there sometime in the eighth or the ninth inning. Maybe the top of, maybe the top of the eighth if we can catch it. But when to Concepcion here. And that's going to be a swing and a miss. Top of the fifth inning here. Concepcion, then we go back to the top. Griffey and Geronimo. And the pitch, it's going to be high ball one. So they'd love a base runner on with nobody out. It's going to be lowest swing and a miss. It'll be one and two. So Jack Quinn, this will be his 72nd pitch. And it's going to be low two and two. Quinn came in this game. He's like 40, is he 46 years old or something? He is. He's the elder statesman of this league. It's going to be a pop fly. Let's see who gets it. This will be the shortstop. And he calls off the second baseman, and Bowley has it one out. Here comes Griffey Sr. Ken Griffey Sr. 0 for 6 in the playoffs. Very weird that he is having slumping this bat. And Griffey, if this hits the ground, he got his first hit and it did. And you knew that that was coming. If you're Philadelphia, you're glad that that came with nobody out. If you're Philadelphia, you're glad that came with nobody on and nobody out. Here's Cesar Geronimo. He's been having a great playoff so far. He's one for two today. Five for seven overall. That means he was four for six in his last game. It's going to be a ball. Both these teams are 1-0. and The winner goes to the semifinals. That's going to be a shot. Could be a double play. They pick up. They go six to four, and they don't go to three. So we're only going to get one at second base. And here comes Foster. Foster's also hitless. Might try and get all these people to get a hit to get the statistics out of the way. So chances of getting hits are higher and higher every time they don't get anything. And that's going to be a strike going one. Foster kind of in a slump here. The pitch, it's going to be ball one. One and one with two outs. Be inside two and one. Philadelphia four, Cincinnati one. That's going to be fouled back two and two. So they got Cesar Geronimo on first. Trying to get home. Foster can put it somewhere. Geronimo has slightly enough speed. He can do it. That's going to be a pop fly to right. And I don't think that's where you wanted to put that one. Underneath and making the catch was Miller. And that ends the top of the fifth. At the end of the top of the fifth, the score, Philadelphia four, Cincinnati one. We go to the bottom of the fifth, McAdaney against Fox. He threw one pitch last inning and got one out. So this time he throws a ball. It's going to be a little high. So Jimmy Fox 0 for 2 today. Philadelphia, definitely one of the best teams in this tournament. 
They went 8-1, they did lose. That's gonna be a strike. They did lose to Cincinnati the last game, but everything was all clinched by then. So I guarantee you, they weren't showing their best pitchers or anything there. It'll be one and two. Philadelphia four, Cincinnati one, he strikes out. That's gonna be one out. So down goes Fox and up comes Simmons. McAdaney struck him out on four pitches. So here's Simmons again, he's going right past, right to everyone. Now Simmons the left fielder. DH helps. You don't have pitchers coming up trying to hit. Play people that can hit the ball. That's gonna be a high pop fly to center field. Underneath is Geronimo wanting to make the catch and he does. And it's gonna be two outs. Bottom of the fifth inning going quickly here. Seven pitches in the inning, he had won the previous inning. And that's gonna be a strike. It was a little low. As we said in the other leg many times, technicalities equal ejections. It's gonna be one and one. So Philadelphia leading by three. Haas would like to try and get on. And that's gonna be a strike one and two. The one, two. That's gonna be jammed him, but it's gonna hit the ground for a base hit. So Haas will go to first with two outs and a little bit of two out lightning here. Bottom of the fifth, he gets on. And here's Jimmy Dykes, look at that stare again. 0 for one today with the walk, but three for five overall. Throw to first and he's safe. Here comes Jimmy Dykes. It's gonna be fouled off 0-1. So the Philadelphia A's, yes, the Cincinnati Reds, the 0-1. They'll be one and one. One and one. The A's, one of the best teams in Major League history. It'll be two and one. 2-1, it'll be 2-2 two and two here. So bottom of the fifth inning, 4-1, Philadelphia leading Cincinnati. The 2-2. Two -two. That's gonna be fouled back. 2-2 two and two here. That's gonna be a little base hit. Oh, it's gonna be caught, and that's gonna end the inning. Well, the rule here is, if you're not in the Champions League and you win this tournament, or you get to the championship game and you're not in the league, you get in. The A's are in front four to one. Where Cincinnati's in the tournament. They're predicted to win it last time. As we go to the top of the sixth inning, quick take a look at the score to see if it changes now. 5-1 Pirates as they go to the seventh inning. 7-8-9 Seven, for Detroit. Detroit's gonna have to go back and play an elimination, and it's gonna be low ball one. We're gonna have to see about this. So ball one low, and this will be ball two low. So Joe Morgan is up, two of four in the playoffs, he's one for one today. And it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a strike two and one. Though it was outside. Three of five total for the on-base percentage. That's gonna be a strike again. Same spot, a little bit outside, but you gotta, he's consistent, this umpire. So the 2-2. Two -two. And there's no way you're calling that one a strike. I mean, that's ridiculous. It'll be full count now to Joe Morgan. If he can get on, Tony Perez might be able to bunt him over or something. And he's fouled off staying alive. Philadelphia for Cincinnati one. The pitch. And that's gonna foul it back. There's gonna be a few more teams in it come March. 
We're gonna have the San Francisco Giants. More than in the 2010, you're gonna have the 89 Giants. That'll be an interesting team. And that'll foul off. You're gonna have all the Braves make it. You're gonna have the 93 Phillies. That's gonna be fouled off again. Quinn and Morgan. Still again, and Morgan's staying alive. This will be pitch number 11. 90 second for Jack Quinn in the game. That's gonna be a shot, and it's gonna be a line drive out. And Bully makes it, it'll be one out. That was ball four. You can see by the blue dot, but sometimes when you foul back all these, you keep working outside, and you finally get them. So one out here, top of the sixth, and here's Tony Perez. And it's gonna be a ball here. There's gotta be two teams that make it. You can't just have one. That's gonna be a shot and a base hit. So that's gonna be Perez again. I guess it's more of a sitting back and seeing. I guess if Philadelphia is the only team that makes it, they're probably gonna have to play the qualification or they might be, I don't know how they're gonna handle it. Here comes Pete Rose. So one on, Perez, one out. Four to one and that's gonna be a ball down low. One and one, Philadelphia four, Cincinnati one. It's gonna be a ball inside, two and one. 98th pitch. That's gonna be a shot and a base hit. So the tying run will come to the plate. Let's see how far he goes. And it'll be first and third. First and third with one out. And Perez is in sacrifice position. And here's Johnny Bench. We've talked about three run home runs before. Quinn to Bench, that's gonna be a ball down low. So this is very tense now, one out. We could get out of this in a double play, but Cincinnati is threatening. It's gonna be one and one inside, ball two actually. So two and oh to bench, four to one. They lead and that's gonna be fouled off, two and one. Jack Quinn trying Desperately, they don't need to give up the run for the double play. They get the double play. That's the end of the inning. A swing and a miss there, two and two. So bench is 0 for two today, two for six in the tournament. He hasn't walked, his on base is the same as his average. Struck him out, he struck out again. Oh, a big strikeout. Jack Quinn doing pretty good and Billy Shores will come in. So that was it for Jack Quinn. He will sit down, and Billy Shores will come back in. His first chance in the playoffs, and he's got Dan Dreesen is 0 for 2 today. So here comes Dan Dreesen. And that's gonna be back. I believe uh, the, only, the only RBI was bench. The bases were loaded, a double play. And you don't get an RBI just to run scores. And that's gonna be a ball outside. So first and third with two outs, Dreesen's a tying run. Top of the sixth. And he'll foul that off. The winner goes straight to the semis in a three game series. The loser goes to an all or nothing tomorrow to get to the semis. And then we start the semis on Thursday or Friday. It's gonna be a strike there, one and two. Shores to Dreesen. Perez on third. And a runner on first to right field, and this will hook, and it looks like it'll hook foul. It's gonna be one and two with two outs. So Rose is on third. Rose is on first, Perez is on third. Rose is hitting sixth. He's hitting seven, 14. Found it back, he's still alive. 
top of the sixth inning here. So one, two. It's going to be low two and two. Top of the sixth inning, four to one, Philadelphia. Trying to hold on to this lead. Dreesen trying to get into it. That's going to be a little blue for the first. And calling for it and making the catch and ending the inning. That was big. Jimmy Fox gets underneath, and he makes the catch, so that ends that. We go to the bottom of the sixth, the score four to one. So Max Bishop is two for two today, comes in against McEnany. And he stops Cincinnati again. That's gonna be a swing and a miss for a strike. So McEnany against Bishop. And he's going to foul that one away. Well, this year, when you're taking a look at this, the qualification tournament will be a very good one for the Champions League as it's 0-2. It's going to be a very good one. It'll be fun. So it'll be 1-2 here. McEnany to Bishop. It'll be 2-2. Two two. Philadelphia 4, Cincinnati 1. And that's going to be fouled back, two and two. So the A's are trying that on to their lead. That's going to be a shot to center field. And it'll drop for a base hit. Even Geronimo, Cesar Geronimo, couldn't leap for a jump for that one. He caught a couple that were really good today. Same with Griffey, but couldn't get to that one. And Bishop, that's a base hit. Bishop Bully and Hale. Here comes Bully. I think he's walked for a sacrifice. Bully to left center field, and that'll hit the ground of base hit. Let's see where they go. Going around second to third. Let's see if he's going to try and score, and he will. The throw home? No, he won't. So it'll be second and third. Bishop stops at third. There's nobody out. They're trying to add to their lead. Here's Sammy Hale is one for two. One for two in an RBI. McEnany with no outs. And that's going to be a strike 0 and 1. Philadelphia lost to Cincinnati in Cincinnati. That'll be a big game tomorrow. The Reds had a hook foul. And there it goes. It'll be quickly 0 and 2. Bishop is 90 feet away in sacrifice position. Hale. They won't move anybody. Concepcion to Perez, one out. Nobody scores. That was pretty good, and here comes Miller. Bing Miller, one for three with an RBI. And it's going to be fouled back, 0-1. Oh and one bottom of the sixth inning. That's going to be a shot to center field, a base hit. That's going to score two and break this game open. It's going to be five to one. The throw home. It's going to make it six to one. So Miller two runs with the single, and it is six to one A's with one out of McEnany. That could be the last of him, and that's it. Bryn Smith will come in to pitch. But the Philadelphia A's lead six to one here. And here's Bryn Smith to Mickey Cochran now. One out. And Cochran, a high fly ball to center field. This one is way back. Let's see, it's near the wall. And this one is caught. Oh my goodness. Any other stadium, it would have been out. And it's gonna be two outs. One pitch, one out, and Smith throw to first. He's going to be safe. Throw it again, and he's safe. Trying to get two outs on one pitch. Smith It's going to be down low, 1-0. Oh. Bryn Smith the Fox. It's going to be outside, 2-0. Oh. Probably going to go to Three Rivers after this. And check out that game, it's gonna be three and zero. Oh. It's 
So Smith the Fox, the 3-0, and it'll be 4-0. He walks him on four pitches. Cincinnati in serious trouble here. There's only two outs, though. Here's Al Simmons, the left fielder. One for three today, three for eight overall. A pop fly, and this will be Joe Morgan. Actually, Morgan will call for it and make the catch. That's going to be it after six innings of play. Philadelphia six, Cincinnati one. Five to three in the top of the eighth. We're going to go there. So let's go to Three River Stadium now. The Pittsburgh Pirates have one out on the Detroit Tigers. The winner moves to the semifinal. The loser has to play in the all or nothing tomorrow. So the Pirates here at Three River Stadium. And here's Bob Moose pitching. Three River Stadium. Here's Lou Whitaker, He's two for three with a home run. Whitaker, right back to Moose. He throws the first and gets an out. That's going to be two outs. And here's Lance Parrish. Lance Parrish in a regular season, 250. In the playoffs, he's 250. And that's going to be a strike. Five to three, the Pirates lead Detroit. Moose to Parrish. And that's going to be low ball one. It's got to be odd, the one thing, if you're wondering what that says in the center field, that says Roberto Clemente is birth and death. But that's got to be weird for Clemente, who is playing right field, to look up and see 1972 as being his death. And it's going to be fouled away two and two. And he's out there playing. It's the thing about vintage teams, the 2-2. Two -two. That's going to be fouled back. So Lance Parrish trying to get on. Give Evans a shot at tying this game. And Parrish strikes out and we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. While Detroit gets a run to get closer, it's five to three. The Pirates want to nail a playoff spot, a semifinal spot. We go to the bottom of the eighth, Dan Petrie against Willie Stargell. Petrie has not pitched in the playoff. The loser here plays an all or nothing tomorrow. The winner goes to the semifinals. Double elimination tournament. And that's gonna be a strike. One and one. Five, three, the Pirates lead. And that's gonna be high, two and one. Petrie against Stargell. And that's going to be fouled away, two and two. And Petrie would love to get Stargell the first out. And it's going to be fouled back again, bottom of the eighth. Detroit down by two. The Pirates trying to go up by three. Struck out Stargell, the major league leader in strikeouts in history. And that's going to be one out. Roberto. Roberto is one for eight in the playoffs, 0 for three today. He hasn't looked good. Roberto shot to third. And easy third to first. And Brookins easily to Evans. Two outs. Here's Al Oliver. He has a good 429 average. That's going to be a strike there, 0 and 1. Petrie against Oliver. Oliver would like to get on. Any Anybody getting on now would be big. They want that three-run lead. Always want to go for more. And it's going to be outside one and two. That's Oliver to opposite field, and it'll chop on the turf for a base hit. Man, this tartan turf. He gets some real bounces out of this. So here comes Sangin. 
It's going to be a strike 0 and 1. Petrie against Manny Sangan. And he's going to foul that one off. It'll be 0 and 2. Bottom of the eighth inning, two outs. Petrie against Sangan inside 1 and 2. He knew that was coming. Pirates are three outs away from making the semifinals. And he held up. Pittsburgh in the semifinals, every single tournament we've had, every single sport that has Pittsburgh in it made the semifinals. They've been blown out in all of them. It's going to be fouled back. Wondering if the Pirates make it. They just get blown out two games to none. It'll be inside three and two. Winner here to the final four. They, they strike out Sangin and that ends the inning. That's going to be it here. We go to the top of the ninth. The score of the Pirates five, Detroit three. Well, Cincinnati trying to come back. It's now six to three. They're going to have their own eighth and ninth inning coming up. Here's Bob Moose. Three outs away from going to the semis. And the semis and the finals are both best of three. It's going to be inside ball one. One and oh to Darrell Evans. It's three of seven. And it's going to be one and going to be two and oh. They want somebody on base. Clinching games for Bob Moose. Names there with Stan Belinda, and it's going to be 3-0. Trying to right the wrongs of yesteryears, including the 72 team. It'll be a strike 3-1. and one. Top of the ninth inning, the 3-1. Ball four, and Evans goes to first. Dale Evans will get to first in the top of the ninth inning. Detroit having a base runner, and here comes... Warren Cromarty, the right fielder. He's hitting very well here. He's at 571, and that's going to be a strike. Away from home, though, he's been terrible. And that's going to be fouled off. But 571 in the playoffs. He's one for three today, four for seven overall. It's going to be an inside ball one. One and two with nobody out. Evans on first. And that's going to be fouled off. One and two. Five to three. Struck him out and Evans sits down. Now he had a knuckle, knuckle curve going on there. Had to hiccup up there. Knuckle curve goes there. It's going to be one out. Larry Hendon, the pinch hitter. That's going to be outside ball one. Pittsburgh five, Detroit three. Top of the ninth inning. One on, one out. Earned it at the tying run. Earned it is the tying run. Larry Hendon, the pinch hitter. First time all playoffs he's been up. He has a home run, six RBIs, and he's hitting 258 in the nine preliminary games. Moose inside, it's 3 0. Oh. Are they going to put two on? And Cromartie, an anomaly as he got out there. And that's going to be a strike down the middle. Now it's a hitter's count. The 3 1. Oh, it's going to be a strike. It gets in there. Very close to being ball four. Umpire's choice here in the full count with one out. Evans on first. 3 2. Struck him out. That's going to be two strikeouts in the inning. Bob Moose is one out away from going to the final four. There's going to be two outs. Moose to Allen Trammell now. That's going to be outside ball one. 
Loose the trammel. This is big. Pitch, it's going to be a strike. One and one. Bob Moose, Alan Tramp. It's going to be fouled off. Detroit's down to their last strike. One ball, two strikes, two outs. The Pirates are a strike away from going to the final four. Moose, the pitch. Struck him out. He struck out all three. And the Pirates make the final four. And they make the final four. They all come in and celebrate. What a game as they hold on against Detroit. That was incredible from the top of the first inning on. The top of the first inning was all Detroit as they scored to go ahead 1-0. But in the fifth and the sixth inning, they get their five runs. And then the seventh and the eighth. That's big. So Sparky Anderson... Um, Sparky Anderson will go to the next. He will go to the playing game tomorrow to, for the other semifinal spot. But Pittsburgh will go. They might end up playing in a best of three. Who knows? But we're going to leave here and we're going to go to Philadelphia. Six to three. And you never know with a, one of the best teams of baseball history. They're down. You never know. They're a strike away. But here's George Earnshaw. And Earnshaw is in for a two-inning relief. Stint. He got the first two batters, striking out one. And here's Dreesen, the 0-2. And fouled back there. If he can get the save, and this is a save situation, Philadelphia's going to have time off to rest everybody. Cincinnati's going to have to play the all or nothing. The 0-2. It's going to be inside one and two. So here's Dan Dreesen. 0 oh, for 3 today. The pitch. That's going to be a pop fly. And this is, oh my goodness, it's going to occur foul. we got to do something about that animation. That will probably be corrected by the next out-of-the-park baseball. So Aaron shot at Dreesen again. Two-strike pitch. Struck him out, and that's it. The three outs away from going to the final four. The score, Philadelphia 6, Cincinnati 3. Fred Norman will come in. In the playoffs last game, he's 1-0. He got the win. He pitched five innings, gave up one earned run, four hits, struck out nine, walked three, an ERA of 180. And Sammy Hale will come up. That's going to be a pop fly to right field. A little bit shorter. I think Joe Morgan's going to call for it. One pitch, one out. Philadelphia is hoping to get some kind of insurance here. Three against Cincinnati isn't. That's oh, high and tight. Miller gives him a little stare. Norman. That's going to be a strike. One and one. That's going to be ball two. So Norman pitching to Miller, trying to hold him off so Cincinnati can get one of their patented rallies late. It'll be two and two with an out. You know, Cincinnati's one of those teams, it's just like the Kansas City Royals. You don't see it. You don't believe it till you see it. You really don't believe it till you see it. Bottom of the eighth inning, the 2-2. A shot to third and a base hit. It looked foul, but they're going to call this one fair. And going to second base, really kind of a little controversial there. I thought it was going to be foul. Going to go for a double. Miller gets on second with one out. And here comes Mickey Cochran. Well, Fred Norman, Fred Norman, very enormous pressure to make sure Miller doesn't score. And that's going to be inside, ball one. And that's going to be a strike, one and one. Bottom of the eighth, the winners to the final four, the losers 
Go to a play in all or nothing game. It's gonna be two and one, Cincinnati or Philadelphia. One of these two will have to go, and right now it's Philadelphia. Six runs, 14 hits, two errors, and a line drive to Perez. And it'll be two outs. The dive back, and Norman now to Fox. And Jimmy Fox 0 for 3. That's going to be fouled back 0 and 1. Philadelphia 6, Cincinnati 3. Swing and a miss here, 0 and 2. 0-2 with two outs, bottom of the eighth. Norman to Fox. And fouled back again. Fred Norman. Trying to get Cincinnati there, only down by three, and he struck him out. And Cincinnati is going to need three runs. If they get three, they're good. But this is it. We go to the top of the ninth. The score, Philadelphia six, Cincinnati three. Top of the ninth inning. Concepcion, Griffey, and Geronimo. So Aaron Shaw, all he needs is three outs. Be tougher to do. The first couple batters will dictate it, and it's gonna be low ball one. So Concepcion, Griffey, and Geronimo, if they get a couple on with nobody out, it's gonna be like the look out. So Aaron Shaw, one of the best relievers there is, and it's gonna be a fastball low. 2-0. So here's Earnshaw. Earnshaw to Concepcion. And that's going to be a strike. So they have it here. It's going to be 2-1. and one. A Swing and a miss here. It'll be 2-2. Two and two. So Earnshaw to Concepcion. The 2-2. Two -two. Top of the ninth. A big pitch. And fouled it back, he stays alive. That's what they need to do. So Aaron Shaw to Concepcion. Struck him out and that's one out. Philadelphia, two outs away now. Cincinnati's not used to this. They're behind the eight ball, I'm not sure who anybody's gonna play. But Aaron Shaw against Griffey. And here they go, Earnshaw. And that's gonna be low ball one. So one and oh to Ken Griffey Sr. They need base runners. And it's gonna be high two and oh. You don't wanna swing for home runs now because it's pointless. You need base runners. And it's gonna be a strike there two and one. You don't wanna sell yourself out. Griffey is two for three today. So for six in the previous game, he's two for eight total. And it's gonna be three and one. And if Earnshaw can walk Griffey, there's one of the two base runners they need. The three one. Ball four and they walk him to first. So there's one. There is one. And here comes Cesar Geronimo. Here in the top of the ninth. Double play can end this game. And that's going to be a strike. 0 oh, and 1 with one out. Hearn shot at Geronimo. It's going to be a strike there, 0 oh, and 2. So down to, the, down to Geronimo's last strike, but they only have one out. Geronimo would like to get on base, Earnshaw. Strikes three and a miss, strike three. And Earnshaw struck out four. Two outs and Cincinnati needs a base runner. George Foster has to get on. And then we'll look at Morgan to tie, but George Foster has only walked one out of eight times. He's been to the plate. He's 0 for seven and a half bats. A walk does not count it as an uh, at bat. It's going to be top of the ninth, ball one. Up the ninth, two outs. It'll be one and oh, he takes it high. So Earnshaw to Foster. It's going to be low, two and oh. 
George Foster, the left fielder. It's not that big of a clutch hitter during the regular regular uh, preliminary games. He only hit 200 with the homer and three RBI, but he was clutch with that homer. That's going to be a strike two and one. Earnshaw wants just to wants to get this done with. The pitch. It's going to be low three and one if they walk Foster. Then Morgan has a chance to tie it. The three one. And that's going to be fouled back. It'll be three and two. That was ball four all the way. He's got to have a better eye than that. Three and two to George Foster. The pitch. That's going to be a deep shot to left field. It's going to hook foul, though. And it will go foul. So it'll be three and two. Full count, two outs. Runner on first just doesn't want to get out. Earn shot to Foster. Ball four, and a tying run will come up. They're too careful on him, and he stayed alive. So the four strikeout man Earnshaw now all of a sudden has to deal with Joe Morgan with two outs. And it's hero against hero. Hero Earnshaw against hero Joe Morgan. Swing and a miss there. Tried to tie it on out 1 0 1 1. So here comes Morgan again. Yo 1. Swing and again and miss again. He's trying to tie this game and he couldn't do it. It's going to be 0-2. There you see it. The 0-2. Top of the ninth inning. 6-3. Tying run at the plate. He hits a home run with tied. They become the new Baltimore Orioles. The 0-2. That's going to be the right field, but it's going to hook foul. In the next league, we're going to have Baltimore's opening game. How about that? That should be a good one. So the 0-2 here with two outs. The pitch. Strike it out, and that's it. And Philadelphia goes to the final four. And look at them pour out of the dugout. The Philadelphia A's play convincing. They hold on. They knew the Cincinnati Reds would try and come back. Cincinnati is still in it. They're going to play an all or nothing tomorrow for the right to play in the final four. So that's going to be it. The Philadelphia A's three in the second inning, one in the fourth, and two in the sixth. Built a five to one lead. Uh, two Reds in the seventh scored. And at uh, the top of the seventh, Cesar Geronimo at the two run home run to make it five to three. Actually, six to three. It was six to one. They got their six runs in, and that was a big one. So that's going to be it. The Philadelphia A's are in the final four. The Cincinnati, you see, and Philadelphia. Philadelphia looking very good. And uh, the committee of the Champions League is deciding whether to put. Uh, the highest two finishing non-qualifying teams in for the first ever qualifying. This is a good barometer. If the regular teams are always blowing teams out, that'd be one thing. But the 72 Pirates and the 29 A's and the 27 Yankees, they all made the playoffs. And the, the fear is you don't want to put a team in there that'll just, you know, go in 102 games, go eight, and 94, you might have the 91 Twins doing that. Or not the 91 Twins, the 87 Twins doing that. You might have the 87 Twins going 8 and 94. But you want to make it at least they'll be booted out in relegation, though. Max Bishop goes 4-4 for four for Philadelphia. And a 6-3 to three win. Al Oliver goes 3-4 for four in his win. And Doc Ellis, great pitching, gives up two earned runs and six hits. He struck out 10 in his win versus Detroit. So that's it going to be there and going to the next round. As they finish today and they go to tomorrow, 
It'll be the New York Mets at the Detroit Tigers and the 27 Yankees at the Cincinnati Reds. So the Mets, I don't believe. I believe the Mets will host uh, because of their seating. This isn't the last game. The last game, we let the computer do it because that's the all-star game. But whenever we take a look at the standings, um, let's see. The Mets were second, yeah, and Detroit was fourth. So we got to switch that game in league settings. This is how we do it if you are ever wondered. You just go here. You go to, there should be... Um, there should be a schedule right here. And then you go to today, and then you flip the teams. Bam, so Shea Stadium. Then you save it. So anyway, these are our matchups tomorrow. Detroit will be at Shea Stadium because the Mets were uh, second uh, seeded, and they had the better record in second seeded in their league. You go by seedings in the league. And if they're tied, you go to the All-Star Game. And the Championship Series is home field advantage to the All-Star Game. So anyway, Detroit and New York, the, these are winner-take-alls. And the New York Yankees and the Cincinnati Reds. Oh, my goodness. Winner-take-alls. Either the Reds or the Yankees will go down tomorrow. That would be, that's going to be an exciting game. Well, that's going to be it for us today. We're going to see you. We're going to see you tomorrow. When we get our entire Final Four. And then next Monday we start the Final Four. We'll see you then.